The simplest answer to that is because a trust will own most of the probatable assets that a person owns. The trust can't own everything. It doesn't own retirement plans. 401ks and IRAs have beneficiary forms. And so if someone is incapacitated and they need a person to take their, for example, required minimum distribution on their behalf, that is gonna be something that only a power of attorney holder can do. Similarly, if the person is injured and in the hospital and needs somebody to make a health insurance claim on their behalf, that health insurance policy isn't owned by a trust, it's owned by the person personally, and so they need somebody who has a power of attorney in order to make that claim on their behalf. So there are a lot of financial transactions that get undertaken outside the trust context, and so if a client is incapacitated, they'll need what we call an attorney in fact, who holds the power of attorney on their behalf to make those transactions for them.